Hey, this is Joe from Leadership Society of Arizona. I'm really excited to explain in this video a creative method that I use in teaching the younger generation life lessons and helping them to stay engaged while doing so. Um, there's a lot of ways to do this, but in our day and age with students having social media, YouTube, there's just so much fast entertainment and so many things that just are overstimulating that get students' attention. So it's difficult to really keep them engaged. But one really creative way that I do and to keep students engaged and also to teach them lessons is actually by using hats. So you can see in the back, I have a variety of hats. And so on all my calls, people usually ask me about the hats. And I like hats you know, in general, because I think they're funny sometimes or they're kind of obnoxious and um, they get people, it's like an icebreaker, you know, it can help people to come out of their shell and, you know, make comments and things. And so that's what I use it for. But a lot of people don't realize that each one of these hats has a story behind it. And as I talk to students and I use these hats to do icebreakers or they think they're funny, I also help them to learn lessons through these hats. So I wanted to show you some of my hats and what type of lessons that I go with them. And so maybe you can find creative ways, um, you know, unique ways for yourself to show and teach these lessons as well. So let's go, I'll show you some of the hats. So the first hat I wanted to show you is the cheese hat. Um, I really like the cheese hat because it's just so ridiculous that there's a piece of big piece of cheese on your head. <laughs> so it makes a lot of, a lot of students laugh and they really enjoy the cheese hat. My children love the cheese hat. But I also like to use the cheese hat because ironically, I try and stay away from eating cheese. <laughs> when I was younger and when I was in high school and their age, I would eat a ton of cheese. And I started to realize that eating a lot of cheese was not good for my body in particular. And so I actually try and stay away from eating large quantities of cheese and it's just one way that I've figured out will help me to be healthier and happier. And so it's funny that I wear this cheese hat, but I always like to explain to students as well about eating habits and how that really affects your happiness as well. So that's the cheese hat. This is another one of my hats. It's a king hat. And the story behind this hat is, um, this is the hat I got for winning prom king at my high school. Um, it has a special place in my heart because I was so shy when I was younger and going through high school and I used to not talk to anyone, but it took a lot of work and effort to help me to become more social. And it, I made a lot of different friends. It was really awkward at times for me, but I eventually became a really social person. And this is kind of a symbol for me um, that of my achievement in actually achieving goals and becoming more social going to parties, making new friends. And so this is why I really enjoy the king hat. This is my Ukrainian hat, as you can see. Students and kids really like it when I do the hands. <laughs> I also like doing it as well. But the reason why I have this hat is because I volunteered in Ukraine, teaching English, doing service opportunities. And that's a big part of when I understood more about life. And it was a big shock for me going to Ukraine. And obviously right now with all the things going on in Ukraine, my heart is with them and I pray for them. And uh, yeah, just learning how to serve people. That is really how I found happiness in life. And I owe it to the Ukrainians. I love the Ukrainian people and I learned a lot going there. So that is the Ukraine hat. This is the rice picking hat. Um, obviously this is not an actual hat for rice pickers, but we bought this because our family came from actually farmers. And so my whole ancestry is from Japan and they came off of, um, the last boat before World War II to Hawaii and they came to America. And so this hat reminds me of all the hard work that has come and the sacrifices that have come from my family um, deciding to come to America and following their dream. And so 
it's amazing how much has come from it. And that's just a reminder to me and students that hard work brings great results, but it does take sacrifice. So this is kind of a creative way that I use to teach life lessons and kind of my own life and put a personal application as well as icebreakers with these hats. But there's a lot of different ways as parents, as teachers, that we can engage the younger generation where it's interesting. And the way we teach is a lot different from when it you know, used to be where the students would sit down and just listen. Now there needs to be more of an innovative innovation and you know, creative ways to help students really connect. And so as parents and teachers, we need to use these different ways, unique things about ourselves and our interests and things to really connect and engage the younger generation. If we do, we'll be more successful in teaching and allowing students to understand correct concepts that can help them in their own life. So I'm glad, hopefully you learned something from this and you thought of your own creative ways of engaging the younger generation and that you can use this in your life as well. And there's other videos to help teachers and parents understand um, how to help their children. So you can look at other videos and hopefully if you enjoyed this, you could subscribe and like um, this video. Thanks so much. Take care.